Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman statue collector, and this statue right here, the Dark Knight Returns premium format sculpted by the incredible Daniel Bell has arrived in the Batcave. I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely insane. One of the most dynamic, coolest statues that I've ever had in the Batcave, and this is one that I was not going to buy. I was not going to get this one until I saw it in hand, in person, in San Diego at Comic-Con. I fell in love with it. It's so massive, it is so impressive that I had to order it. I got on the wait list and I finally converted and it is now here. It took a little minute, it took a minute anyway, to get to the Batcave, but here it is. Uh, it's just absolutely an insane statue. And so I cannot wait to review it for you. I have all of the information, of course. The link is down below if you want to order it. It is shipping in batches as we speak. And so hopefully you're able to get one and if not, jump on the wait list. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and review this incredible statue from Sideshow Collectibles. All right, guys, so here we go. And it's just really one of the most impressive and ballsy statues I've ever seen. Um, the execution here is just freaking insane, right? It is just absolutely insane the way they did this. And I tip my hat to everyone at Sideshow, especially, of course, Daniel Bell, who sculpted this, but also all of the design team um, that just, you know, came up with this because it's really unique and it's really something uh, very, very different uh, for sure. So anyway, I'm going to start on the base like we always do. I'm going to kind of zoom back into regular uh, proportion here. And we'll start with the base. Obviously, you have that great Joker base. It's really, really neat. Um, the base, though, I feel like it, it, there's areas where I feel like it's probably the weakest. Like, I, I don't love this part of it as much. Um, just because I feel like it's just kind of, I don't know, I just don't feel like they needed it. Although, I feel like that's probably to balance out the, the weight of the statue. So, I think it's all very much intentional, obviously. But I really do like the exploding uh, with the lightning coming down in the base. So, very, very cool Joker, of course. Dark Knight Returns, you have all of this great uh, kind of sculpt here, stone. And then, of course, the great thing is, is you know, you have all these shattered elements, like the rock is exploding off of it. Um, and that's very, very cool. Um, but my favorite thing about the base is that it's got this blue. Um, so there is blue throughout. There's also blue throughout the statue itself on Batman. Um, but basically, it is meant to be a reflection. It is a light reflection of the, the lightning bolt. And I think that that is really awesome. Um, you see it here, you see it on the top here as well. Um, there's also a few other areas, uh, you know, like inside of the rock where it's reflecting off of. Um, it's just very, very cool the way they did it. Um, and I think it's just, it's been Sideshow's kind of new direction to be able to um, add paint as light. And I think that's very, very cool. Very, very cool stuff. Um, again, lots of great detail all throughout. And then on the back side, obviously, you, again, you just have uh, more of the rock. The lightning actually does go into the rock, which is cool, splits it apart. So it does look good from all angles. Of course, you're most likely uh, not gonna display it from the back, but still very, very cool. Okay, so then you have the lightning bolt itself. Uh, the lightning bolt is, again, very cool. It's got white. It's got these kind of like this ice blue color as well uh, to give it some nice color differentiation, which is great. Also, you know, it does have the uh, the plug-in, which I'll show you here in just a bit. There is a push button here with the, uh, the charger. Uh, the uh, charger is a US charger and also a UK charger. So I thought that was very, very cool uh, as well, okay? So then as you go up the lightning bolt, of course, the main event obviously is Batman himself looking awesome. Um, of course, the detail here, uh, this is Daniel Bell's anatomy, uh, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, great texturing on the boots, as you can see. Um, it's got that pull, that leather pull. Again, it is fully sculpted, but it does look phenomenal. And then obviously you have the other boot as well. Um, there's not a ton of weathering on this boot, uh, as far as I can tell. I mean, there's definitely texture. Um, but there's not like dirt on it or like the weathering like you see sometimes that Batman has. Um, so maybe maybe that could have been something that you could have maybe maybe done a little bit more is maybe there. I mean, maybe you see a little bit of that on there, uh, but maybe a little bit of a dirty boot would have been okay or maybe appropriate, but not necessary. Um, then, of course, you also have this is some of my favorite is the blood damage. Uh, I showed this to my wife and she was not a fan of that, um, but I thought it was really cool. Um, you know, this is a gnarly old Batman, a uh, grizzled veteran, um, and he's getting the snot beat out of him. Um, but he's also beating the snot out of uh, the mutants and everybody else, which is awesome. 
again, the detail is just insane. Um, so I want you to notice, um, so somebody pointed out they felt like there was overspray um, on this and it, it is intentional. This area right here is blue. There is a blue spray on the back of his boot going up to his thigh and his calf. Um, you also see it on the back side, okay? Maybe a little bit here. That is light reflection, guys. That is intentional, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it um, because it is the light shining off the bolt. So it makes the art come alive. It absolutely makes the art come alive. So that is intentional, guys. That is not overspray or anything else. That is intentional, okay? Look at the definition of the muscle in his inner thigh. Like, look at that, that muscle that pulls. Daniel Bell is a freaking genius when he sculpts, okay? Uh, you have the utility belt looking good. You have a little bit of weathering on the top, so a little bit of color differentiation there. Again, it's not just yellow. Looks good. I do apologize. I know I've got some shadow in the room, of course. Uh, then, of course, look at the detail on the glove. Um, the glove, really strong magnet here. Um, but I wanted just to show you the detail. Again, it's fully sculpted, but it's really good. The way he sculpts the fingers, I mean, that looks so real to me. Probably the most realistic thing I've seen uh, him do. Like, it's just crazy how good that is. Like, that's one of the first things I noticed was how good the hands are. I mean, that's just crazy, right? Okay. Uh, of course, that just keys in right like that. Very, very good. Again, you have that blue spray there. Again, light reflecting. Uh, you also, of course, have the battle damage in the blood. It's subtle blood. It's like it's not like gory, but it is very well done in my opinion. Uh, you have the bat logo again. You got scratches and blood there as well. Looks really good. And of course, you have this incredible, incredible portrait. Uh, I really, really like this a lot. You can see the uh, the beard, uh, that five o'clock shadow the blood gushing out of his nose, down his lip, the scratching, the scarring. Of course, this is a very gristled, gnarly Batman, pissed off, getting ready to take somebody down. Look at the texturing in the cowl. You get that short-eared cowl, which looks great. But look, just look at that. Look at the texturing on the biceps. It's just insane. Again, talk about a piece that tells a story. I'm going to stand up here and get a little bit of a different uh, perspective on him. Just gnarly, right? That then, this uh, has a long key. The Batman head has a long key uh, that holds in the cape. Okay, the cape does not key in necessarily. It's uh, you know, kind of like a tension. Um, the cape is a lightweight material. Thank God, Sideshow. That is awesome. I'm so glad that this is not heavy. Um, this was smart to do it this way. Um, I love it. I think it looks beautifully sculpted. It's very, very tattered and torn. But also, of course, you have those blue elements. Again, that kind of that light white blue, that ice blue that's, again, reflecting of the lightning bolt. Very, very cool. Sorry, I just got distracted by Look how good that looks. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, you also, of course, have the, uh, the Batarangs, which looks great. Um, I love that he's getting ready to throw them. One thing I did want to show you guys, um, again, really great magnet. I, I, I said this on the live stream. I love like this, this, this one finger is kind of like buried in his, uh, the meaty part of his um, hand. I just thought that looks so good. Like it's such a good sculpt. Like it's just the little things that you appreciate. And it's like, you don't even see it because it's on the bottom side of the sculpt. But I just thought, man, like fingers of all the things that I'm most impressed with on this statue is the fingers. Like, I think it's so good. Um, again, just he's able to capture it so, so well. And again, that just keys in really nice and easy there. I have the right angle. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, let me show you the back side of the cape. Again, I know it's kind of dark, but you have all these great tatters in here. Really like the detail. Again, you have a little bit of the color, that white color reflecting. Again, it's just torn and tattered, but again, this is a, I don't think it's, I don't think it's plastic. It might be, but it's a, uh, I mean, it feels more like polystone, but it's super light if it is like, it's really well done, but it might be, a, it might be a plastic of some sort. Okay. Uh, you, again, you have the backside, probably something you wouldn't see very much of. 
but still looks very, very good. I just, oh, this thing is so freaking awesome and dynamic. I mean, just look at that. It just, it is absolutely sick the way this thing looks. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down again, give you a wide shot again of the, uh, the entire dynamic statue, okay? So, uh, again, one thing that's cool about this obviously is the light-up feature. I know not everybody's gonna use that, but uh, let me show you what that looks like. So it's a simple push button on, and there you go. Um, it does kind of backlight it a little bit, I guess you could say. Uh, it's <laughs> what well, we, were, we were joking to my family. It's uh, like, you know, very expensive nightlight. Um, I also want you to notice the color differentiation. I'm assuming they're all like this. I, I, have, I haven't watched very many reviews, um, but you have very, very white, and then that transi it transitions into another color. I think that was obviously done intentionally, uh, at least I'm assuming. I need to go back and double check because um, there is a different color. Um, I think it looks great like that, but uh, again, I do need to go back and check. I would assume there's like an inner spray to it just to give it some different uh, color make it dynamic but oh my gosh it's just so good and it's so massive like it is such a big premium format great price point I feel like on this um, I feel like you don't need it lit up I mean it's cool lit up like this obviously to have it lit up in your collection I don't usually like light ups at all this is the exception this is worth it. This is so different. This is so unique. And again, ballsy by Sideshow to create something like this, to take something so iconic as Batman in front of that lightning bolt. Uh, you know, of course, Frank Miller, Dark Knight Returns cover, and actually make it into 3D into something like this. It is freaking beyond. Freaking awesome. I'm just going to say freaking a whole bunch of times, guys, because I am just so impressed. And you guys know I don't love the storyline. I don't love it. I don't love the art. This art I love. This art is iconic. This art belongs in the Bat Cave, Bat Bunker, whatever we're going to call it. Um, I don't know if it's going to have its own podium. I really don't know. But it is just so cool. Uh, very, very awesome the way it's lit. Uh, again, you don't need it lit, though. Like, if you don't want it that way, if you don't want it lit, you don't have to have it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off. Uh, again, so you just can see kind of the difference. Uh, it's definitely all the way white, uh, you know, whereas that was different color with it lit up. All the way white across the uh, across the board there. I mean, just freaking sick. I mean, the detail is just, <laughs> it's just insane, right? And it's so cool the way he's up in the air like that. Great, strong key. Uh, I don't worry about him falling out of that at all. Uh, it's got, it goes right into his uh, glute, glutes, uh, back glutes right there, so you don't have to worry. Um just really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. All right, so there's no other swap outs. There's no other switch outs on this thing. What you see is what you get with this. Um, let me go ahead and set it up so we can do some measurements for you because I know you're going to want that because, again, it's the, the crazy thing about it is it's angled, right? So it, it, there's depth there. There's also an incredible amount of height, um, which is awesome. Um, this will fit my new display. I just measured uh, last night. It will fit my display. Um, just barely, just barely. So I think it was uh, 32 inches tall, if I remember right. So again, I'll give you exact measurements or at least uh, as close as I can get for you guys. But again, here it is. Dark Knight Returns, premium format, sideshow. Okay, just did some quick measures. And basically from here back to the base is approximately 31 and a half. So my clearance is 32 inches. So I think I'm going to be just fine there. So about 30, almost 32 inches tall. Okay. When you're talking about the depth though, you're looking at the front of his head right here. And again, it is an angle to the back there. That is approximately 22. Uh, actually is about 21 and a half. Actually, if you want to be hundred percent accurate, 21 and a half. And then if you're looking at width and we're, again, we're looking Looking at uh, from the uh, the tip of the cape here to basically his fingers uh, and everything else in between, you're looking at about 22 inches. Again, you're going to have to kind of measure at a diagonal depending on how you display it. So about 22 wide, about tw almost 22 deep, not quite, and then uh, almost 32 tall, not quite 32. But uh, anyway, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea on the dimensions of this beast. 
So there you have it, an incredible look at the Daniel Bell sculpted Dark Knight Returns from Sideshow. I am absolutely blown away by this piece. It is really, really well done. It is so dynamic and it is massive. And man, does it have a presence in a collection with or without that light? You know, you don't have to have it on. It looks great either way but I cannot recommend this one enough. You guys know, again, that this is not my favorite art in terms of storytelling from Frank Miller, but this statue is worth your dollar. It is absolutely worth it. I highly recommend it. And a lot of people have said, hey, Chris, is this one going to last in the Batcave? Is it going to stay in the Batcave for a long time? I absolutely think it is because even though it's not my favorite art from Frank Miller, this, I mean, does it get more iconic than this? I mean, seriously, does it get any more iconic than this? It looks great. I love it. And I'm so thankful that SciShow made it. Very, very cool stuff. So anyway, in the comments down below, let me know if you bought this, if you're going to. Again, the link is down below if you're interested. Um, anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I am so, again, I'm so happy that it's here in the Batcave. It's so, so cool. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.